So um, this is going to be just a real quick uh, demonstration of some of the interactions I've been working on uh, basically to interact with uh, Spring. Uh, specifically the game is 0k, um, so this is on the Spring RTS engine. Um, and so real quick, if you look over at the stream, you can see um, basically you can see my webcam. Uh, you can also see a uh, camera view of the um, this display I'm working on, a multi-touch plus pen display. Um, and you can also see what the touch sensor is seeing there at the bottom. Uh, this is a Zero Touch, developed by John Moeller at Texas A&M University. Um, so, basically, go ahead and get started. So, uh, one of the most simple things you can do in this interface uh, is you can uh, basically use this mode selector to select um, what interacting with the pin is going to do. Uh, so there is no barrel button interactions uh, in this particular interface. It's all, all the modes on for the pin are selected uh, via this option and several other uh, UI interfaces. Um, so basically, if I'm not touching anything, I can select. So um, and then one finger is default command, which is equal to right click uh, in a real time strategy game. Uh, if you're familiar with that. So um, that's a pretty default option. If I right click on an enemy unit's attack, or if I do this default command, um, if I default command on one of my own units, it's guard, follow. Um, two fingers is a uh, fight move, so I guess it's equivalent to attack move. Um, so basically, you want to be doing this all the time uh, in real time strategy games. Um, otherwise, your units are going to be dying on their way to get everywhere because they're not going to attack anything that they run into. Um, so basically, you want to be able to do that quickly. Three fingers is patrol. Uh, sort of seemed like a good uh, three finger choice. Um, and then four fingers is being able to do this marking menu to select uh, what building to build with construction units. So um, here I can use this marking menu. This is Standard with spring, I'm just using it here with the pin. Or not with spring, but with 0k. Uh, so I can build my first cloaky bot factory, which I get for free. So I'm just going to go do that. And so uh, while that's going on, um, since I have that building, I can go ahead and start doing some construction units. Uh, go ahead and tell it to repeat and to help. And I'm going to have my commander uh, start building some more uh, economic uh, infrastructure. So go ahead and do build again. I uh, can go ahead and tell them to build several different mixes. And so what I did here is if I move my finger to the left, that basically invokes shift. So I am uh, can queue up commands. Um, basically, if this is uh, a unit that moves, if I do it with one finger, then it's... Uh, well, I need to get them off of the building there first. And then I can tell them to do... Uh, whichever things I want to do him to do queued up. So and then I can go ahead and finish with the default command of guarding the factory and he should go help build those units. Um, so up here uh, these are some more um, I guess more less less commonly used uh, commands. Um, basically I want to be able to choose commands really quickly using this multi-finger selector here. Um, and then these options are less frequently invoked. So here we have move, which I can normally do just using default command. Um, I have guard, uh, reclaim, uh, max, stop, wait. Um, so um, basically what I can do here, I'll just do move. Um, so I can have him, if I hold and let go, it's just single issue. If I hold, it's basically LQ. So I can add different things. I can draw the path with the pen for him to go through. Um, if I'm doing with this with multiple units, um, I forgot to show this in my last video. Oh, get them right here. Uh, if I use the pen, then it basically is a formation for them. So I can tell them to go in a little ring here, and they'll go do that. Um, and then if I want to tell them to, I want to tell them to move and then fight, then move and then fight. Do that. Of course, I tell them to fight, they're going to go repair. So that's what they're doing now. So I'll just tell them to go ahead and repair, anyways. So, this guy doing that. 
Um, I can also do this with uh, building uh, buildings. And so here what I can do with my commander is go ahead and select uh, doing uh, building basically an energy collecting uh, structure or solar panels. Uh, and so I can go ahead and stroke those and he'll go ahead and build them in an array like that. So um, while he's doing that, we'll go ahead and speed up the game a little bit. And I'll tell this to stop because I don't want it to build any more of those. I built a whole bunch of these so this should go quickly. So I'll go ahead and build another factory so I can show you um, some specifics about the end context menu that you've seen a bit already. So another one of those, it's finished. And so I've already shown you uh, issuing commands to one factory. So you hold down your finger um, and it brings up an in context menu uh, to the upper right. Um, and so I can go ahead and issue commands, um, oh, don't repeat, um, and that'll go ahead and do that. Um, but if I want to issue commands, say, to all of these factories, something that people want to do a lot whenever they're uh, macroing, uh, in a real-time strategy game, so basically I can put down a second finger here and another another space in the world, and that selects all of the, these factories that I have, and so I can issue commands to all of them at this point, and they'll all start building uh, that stuff. So that's one way to do that. Um, I can also use these in-context menus down here uh, using this widget on the lower part of the screen. So if I'm say I'm over here at my enemy's base doing something, giving out commands. If I want to macro real quick, I don't want to have to manipulate the camera all the way back to my main screen, find where my factory is. So what I can do is I can select a factory and I can just issue commands just from all the way across the map. I don't have to look at it. I can do the same thing with two fingers, select all of the factories of that type that I have. So um, go ahead and go back to base. Um, one of the things you've already been seeing me do is you can do uh, camera manipulation uh, just using the hands and your dominant fingers. Um, so classic two finger uh, rotate, pinch, zoom, uh, like that. You can do one finger to, to pan around. Uh, you can also use three fingers to uh, pitch the game world like this. So it gives you a little bit of interesting uh, interaction there. Uh, I should turn down the game speed before something bad happens. So I'll get down to a four or so there. Um, and so I guess just a couple more things to show you real quick. Um, up here, this is a view selection uh, widget. So basically what this does is I push down here and it's saved this particular view uh, into this particular spot so I can adjust it to be my main base where I want to go whenever I activate this button. And then I can also do this where I uh, put it over, like say at my enemy's base. And then I can put this one in the middle just to be an overview. And it's configurable how many of these different options you have. And so what I can do now is I can use this to quickly switch between different uh, places in the game world. And so there's this task that people normally do in real-time strategy games where they're looking and managing different parts of the game world very quickly. And so what I can do here is I can just scrub across this widget and it'll um, switch between all these different camera views very quickly. So uh, sort of the same thing is going on with these, con with these buttons here. This is to uh, basically you can have control groups uh, to manage units with. So if I want to put all of my little construction bots here in control group one, I can hold control group one, select them, and then there you go, I have all of them here uh, selected, and then I can go ahead and select them quickly later again by just selecting this command group, control group. Um, I can add to that control group by holding this and then doing a lasso select, and then anything that I lasso gets added into that control group. So, oh, and to cancel the control group, we kind of do an interesting thing where we mix the modalities of pen and touch. So if I touch, it's adding. If I use pen, it clears the control group. So uh, just a real quick way to uh, visualize that. You kind of have a little red overlay there to indicate that it's going to get cleared out. 
um, you can do sort of a similar interaction with just the current selection. This window shows what's currently selected and some stats about it. I can hold that and then just adding to the current pin there. So um, normally you just select direct select something or you can add. Um, so I just shot a video where I forgot one little thing, and so now I'm having to shoot again, so I'm trying not to forget. Uh, so yeah, really the, having this uh, control of the pen is really nice because I can define these unit groups for my units to go into uh, very easily uh, and fluidly, especially using this mode selection. And then I can you know, add on and like have them go to like a series of different things to draw out my first letter of my name, which doesn't look so great because I don't have too many units, but um, I can, you know, tell them to sort of go into a concave and then, you know, advance forward after they get there to a particular spot so they sort of all advance in a concave. So it's a nice way of, say, uh, you know, my I know the, unit, the enemy commander is right over here, and so what I can do is get them in a concave and then get them all to converge and so have a nice little concave here. Oh, actually, those are construction robots, so they all are going to die. So, um, yeah, maybe I'll go ahead and build some attack robots real fast. So, we'll redo that again. Or maybe not. Um, so, I think that's about everything. So, thanks for watching. Uh, I think in the coming weeks, I'm probably going to start doing some videos where playing versus some AIs. It's kind of boring just to watch where me doing nothing here is sort of nothing is attacking me. Um, so, you know, sort of the whole idea behind this project is looking, you know, how do I do. Um, high performance interaction with multi-touch and pen, this interaction modality that isn't normally associated with being high performance in the way that you know someone who plays RTS games understands high performance. So um, that's kind of what we're looking at right now. Uh, I'm sure you've seen lots of funky things in the interaction, but uh, anyways, if you want to leave any feedback, I'd appreciate it. Um, be hopefully be running some studies with some uh, participants here, sort of why I put together this video rig. So. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.